What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a banger video talking about my first time doing Clonopin. Now, before I dive into the anything else, I do want to mention real quick, first and foremost, that do not do anything I mention in this video. Don't try Clonopin for yourself. The sole purpose of this video is to educate and inform you about what this drug might be like from a first-hand experience and someone who's done it. So... That's the first thing I want to get out of the way. Also, a banger song by my boy Samron at the end of this video. Follow his SoundCloud linked in the description. Show him some love. I'd appreciate it. And third and foremost, or not third and foremost, but third and last thing, drop a like if you enjoy. And without further ado, let's dive right the fuck into it. So, you know, this... This story I actually didn't realize that I had on the back burner for so long because... I forgot that this actually happened. I was talking to a buddy of mine about a week ago, and, you know, we, we were on FaceTime, and we were just kind of catching up and reminiscing and stuff. He's been off at college, and we, we didn't really hang out a ton, but we knew each other pretty well, because he was, like, he went to my elementary school and my middle school, so he was a real, like, old buddy of mine, so we were just catching up, talking about stuff, and, you know, we, we got onto the topic of, you know, kind of the drugs that we'd done together, which wasn't too many, but, you know, few and far between, and he was like, yo, you remember the K-pins, and I stopped for a second, and I thought, and I was like, wait, I don't really recall, like, hold on, and then I had this kind of Jimmy Neutron brain blast moment, where, like, the literal little cutscene where Jimmy Neutron is brain blasting from the TV show, like, happened to me, and I, it, it clicked, I was like, oh, shit, that happened, like, fuck, this was such a, I, I, I don't even know how to put it, just, I feel like that, that sums up K-Pins pretty well, Kinda. It, it, not really, actually. I mean, kinda. But either way, that's irrelevant. So, how this all ended up playing out was, you know, my buddy who we're gonna call Michael, he calls me up. And at this point in time, he was the buddy of mine who was my longtime friend who reminded me of this story to begin with. And he was the kind of originator of this entire event. So, he hits me up. He's like, yo, what you on? You trying to smoke? You trying to kick it? Uh, let's get fucked up, and, you know, I, I'm pretty sure if I remember it was, like, a Thursday night, and I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, I'm down, what are you trying to do, like, where can we smoke, or, you know, what what's the plan, and he's like, well, I don't know, I mean, we probably could smoke at my house for a little bit, but we'd have to leave after, like, two or three hours, so if you got here quickly, then we could smoke a couple blunts and figure out what to do, so I was like, all right, I'll head over right now, I'll be there in, like, 15, so, Hop in my car, whip it over to Michael's house. Now, Michael is a guy who, he was not really a drug dealer, I'd say. He was more just like a variety shop. Like, he was like, like the item shop in Fortnite, just updating every couple days. Like, this guy would just have random drugs. He wasn't a consistent plug for anything. It's just... Drugs would come and go, particularly pills. This guy loved his pills. Any, whether it was benzos, opiates, any kind of pill that he could swallow, he loved it. I don't know why. He was just a fiend for that shit. So, on this particular day, I go over there and I shake up with him. I'm like, what's good? He's like, yo, it's been a minute. How you been? We talk a little bit. You know, in the process of talking, I, I had some bud on me. He had some weed on him. He always had a little bit of weed. And... We ended up just rolling up a couple blunts and conversating a little bit more and, you know, we eventually went out and smoked those blunts. And I had no intent to ever do Clonopin uh, on this particular evening, you know. I, I didn't really have any interest in it, like, I wasn't gonna really seek it out, you know, but... This happened a long time ago, may I add. I believe that mentioned earlier, or I mentioned that earlier, but this happened a pretty fucking long time ago, you know. This was during, like, you know... If, if, for those of you guys who have watched my channel for a while, you know, like, 2016 from, like, the beginning of that year to, like, the summer of that year was just a fucking rampage. This was during that time frame, so this was during my, like, drug rampage, but either way, so we're out on his back patio, and we're smoking a couple blunts, and we're just chatting, you know, we're, we're talking, we're having a good time, and he's like, oh, yo, do you want some K-pins? And I was like, I mean, not really, you know, maybe. And he was like, 
I'll give them to you, you know, pretty cheap if you want. I don't really want them. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I, I at this point in time, I was familiar with what Klonopin was. Like, I knew what it was to an extent. I knew that it was in Benzo, but I didn't know much beyond that. But I figured I'd taken Xanax, so I was going to go for it. So I was like, I mean, I guess I'll try it. And I asked him how much I should take. I was like, what, what's a normal dose? Like, how many of these bitches should I pop? And he busts out these old white things. And Klonopins, they look very strange. They're the only pill I've ever seen that has this. There's just a big K. Just a giant K right through the middle. This little circular pill. Not not super little, but tiny. It just, what the fuck? You know, it's like, it's extra. It's extra. That's what that's what they are. They're just fucking extra. They're like the luxury Xanax. That's really what clonopids are. But either way, even though they're not prescribed for the same thing. But either way, you know, back on topic here. So I was asking him, like, how much should I take? Uh, you know, what, like, just what do I do with these? And he was like, you know, you should probably take, like, you know, I, he, he was like, I'd say around double what you take in terms of Xanax to feel it, you know? And I, I'm not saying that as something for you guys to go with. That I don't recommend that at all. That's a stupid amount to take. But I was like, okay, well, I could pop two milligrams of Xans and be good. So if I pop two of these little two milligram clonopins, which would be four milligrams, I'll probably be fine. And fine I was. I'll tell you that. But either way, I'm like, all right, how much you want for these things? He was like just throw me like five bucks. I don't really care. So I was like, really? He was like, yeah, go for it. And you know, I I didn't really know how much they were worth. So I didn't know if that was a good deal or not, but I didn't really give a shit. It was like $5, like whatever. I can't say no. And to this day, since this day or since this occurrence, I, I never did this again. So I still to this day don't really know if that's a good price or not. You know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I, I don't know where he got them or why he didn't want them, but He just kind of like gave them to me. It was only two of them though. So either way, you know, anyways, what I ended up doing was we kicked it a little bit longer. We talked a little bit. We tried to find some shit to do. We were like, can we go out anywhere? Is anyone trying to have us come over and smoke them up or something? We couldn't find shit to do. And it came to the point where his parents were almost going to come home and I still hadn't popped these things yet. So he was like, yo, listen, I, you know, I probably can't find us anything to do. So uh, you probably got a dip uh, you, unless you got somewhere for us to go. You know, I'm probably just going to stay here. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm probably just going to go home. So he was like, all right, peace out. I should go up with him, go back to my house. Now, you know, at this point, it's it's maybe like 6.30, right? Maybe 6.30 or 7 o'clock. And I'm sitting there in my room just trying to think, like, what should I do right now? You know, I was still fairly baked. You know, I was I was curious about the clonopins, but I wasn't really sure if I wanted to take them. And I figured, you know what? There's no better time than now. So I sat down at my desk and I popped them both. And let me tell you, the it's not really like Xanax at all. You know, I expected it like since they were benzos, for some reason I expected it to taste like just like Xanax, but it was really like the taste wasn't very bad at all. You know, it just kind of went down normally like a normal pill. But either way, I popped them both and, you know, I I sat and I just kind of waited and I kind of warmed myself up, I guess you could say, because whenever I take benzos, I would always have, you know, a fairly consistent routine. As soon as I started feeling it, I would go smoke a blunt and then I would either sit down and watch TV or watch Netflix or I would play some games. So I'd set up my TV so it was like across from my bed, then I'd have my computer all set up and I'd have a blunt rolled. So... As soon as I popped them, maybe not even five minutes after, I start rolling up a blunt, and I'm like, all right, this is going to be interesting. You know, I don't really know if four milligrams was a good dose for me, or at this, you know, at that particular moment, I didn't know yet how this is going to go for me. I was like, is that too much? Is that not enough? I don't know. So, you know, the, the one thing that struck me the most after I'd finished rolling this blunt and it hit me is Klonopin's, it's... It's so different from Xanax, you know, and I feel like that's really the only thing I can compare it to because it's the only other benzo I've done, but it's really so different from what I expected as well. It's nothing like what I thought it was going to be, and it's kind of strange almost, but, you know, either way, what I ended up doing was, you know, I, I was... 
I was sitting at home and I just smoked a blunt and, you know, I, I finally went back upstairs to my room and I, I sat down on my bed and I was laying in bed and it, it didn't necessarily feel like I was high. Like it didn't feel like I was intoxicated, but it felt like I was laying on, I, I was like floating a little bit on like a really soft, just like perfect recliner like a perfect cloud but the cloud was a recliner like the shape of a recliner or something you know so this this like i just felt like the really best word for it i guess is sedated you know i just felt like holy fuck but it wasn't really holy fuck because in my mind i barely felt like intoxicated you know whereas with xanax you know even in my head while i'm on it i know wow i'm a retard right now and i don't remember a ton of it and the reason that i didn't remember this scenario was not because you know it was like xanax where i just kind of like don't remember anything naturally every time because i just black the fuck out it's more because it wasn't really like crazy it wasn't really super standout during this time period of my life when i was doing so many drugs i completely like this was like nothing special to me at the time, you know, but either way, you know, I'm laying in bed, and I'm feeling great, and, you know, I, I didn't really, as soon as the clonopin, as soon as the K-pins hit me, it, it kind of took away from the, the high that I had off smoking that blunt, but I didn't really care, you know, they, I, I didn't really notice weed going forwards, you know, later that night when I'd smoked another, uh, another blunt later, you know, I, I didn't really feel it, but I didn't really care, you know, I, I felt like just so empowered almost, like I felt like comfy, but at the same time, as I went through the night, I just felt like, damn, I can handle anything right now, you know, like I just felt so good and like, calm and okay and like controlled almost you know I just felt so like collected I guess you could say it, it was very strange because it's not at all what I expected from a benzo you know whatsoever but it almost felt more like a sedative version of Adderall than it really did like a benzo or what I expected whatsoever but Either way, uh, you know, as the night goes on, I eventually get out of bed. I was watching some random shows on Netflix, and I eventually get out of bed, and I decide, you know, I'm going to smoke another blunt. So, you know, I went down to my garage. I was rolling up a blunt, and, you know, let me tell you, I, I just don't... I'm not good at rolling blunts when I'm super, like, sedated. Like, when I'm on any downers, you know, including when I drink, I'm just trash at rolling blunts. So it took me a really long time to finish this blunt. I'd say it took me a good, like, 15 minutes to really finish this blunt because I was just like, oh, my God. Like, I just, I, I can't even begin to put into words how me and my dick felt. It was just amazing, but... Either way, so I, I'm finally finished rolling up this fairly shitty blunt, I'm not gonna lie. I spark it, I smoke it. It was a little loose, but hey, it got the job done. And, you know, as I'm smoking it, it's almost like as I'm exhaling the smoke, it's in, like, slow-mo. Like, it's like, it's like how you see it in, like, movies when people are smoking, you know, smoking weed and stuff. Like, how they just blow these big clouds and just blow it, like, I, I don't know, it's just... It just looked like it was happening in slow-mo, but only when I was exhaling. Everything else seemed normal speed. Just the smoke seemed slow-mo. I remember that very distinctly. But either way, you know, after, after this happened, this part I don't remember, okay? After I finished smoking the blunt, I went upstairs, and this part I don't remember doing, but as I was talking to Michael about it the other day and kind of reminiscing about it, apparently I called him on FaceTime again, and I asked him to pop some with me on FaceTime and smoke another blunt with me. That's what he claims, but I'm going to dispute that claim because I don't recall that, but I felt the need to put that in the story because I know it could be true, but I, I don't remember that part. So we're going to leave that as a question mark, but either way, I went back upstairs and something unfolded, something questionable unfolded. <laughs> I, I'm just going to leave this as like a blank in the story because I don't fucking remember, but all I remember is waking up the next morning, right? Because the rest of the, my night was just done, done. I was slumped. I'm talking like not very like physically slumped. Well, yeah, physically slumped, but it wasn't like heavy slumped. It, it felt very light and like fluffy. I don't know. It's I, it's so hard to put my words on this. Like I just can't find the right word to describe clonopin because it's just, it's so strange. It's, it's not 
Ah, oh, fuck, man. I don't know. But either way, so <coughs> shit, excuse me. You know, a- anyways, all I remember is waking up the next morning and feeling like I had just gone to a massage parlor and gotten a great massage and a happy ending from the most expensive tie hooker ever. And it was amazing. So either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a like if you did. Hope you guys enjoy the song I'm about to play. Don't forget to follow Sam Run on SoundCloud. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, water is on me. I had to go Ricky Bobby. Yeah, there's a goalie in hockey. But I know that nigga can't stop me. Yeah, be, yeah, be, right, be, body. I would just run around a lot. You was running from Mr. Mosby. I was running shit like Bill Cosby. You ain't had to ask twice. As games get a sex chain, bitch, I'm gnarly like a half pipe, blow like a bagpipe. Sipping on act right, don't act up, bitch, act right high for the half life. You ain't got no hope, got a scope, bitch, I'm dope like a crack pipe. Be nigga mad, right? I got